all right now i'm going to show you how you can count emails and then remove the emails from the twitter data for example in the data frame we have our tweet data all right so this is the tweet data there could be the many emails in this tweet data so we have to count those number of emails in each of these tweets and then we will be also removing these emails so if you want to see which one is actually if have any email you can use str.contains I'm going to use here dot com all right so the mostly you we can get that if any of the tweet data is having email all right it seems although this is the this one is a website address this is also website address uh, let me see if someone has tweeted the gmail all right it seems this guy has tweeted the gmail all right so there at the two four four eight we have here so the df dot i lock and then we have here two four four eight and then we are gonna see the tweets data all right so for that although it do not have gmail.com okay not a problem so let me write a code and then i'll show you those rows actually are those tweets which have uh, those tweets which have actually uh, these things all right so i think uh, let me put here the backward slash all right no don't have anyway i'll, I'll show you let me uh, apart from this gmail do we have hotmail as well if there i think yes we have their hotmail it's three seven one three all right so there this is the email address all right and uh, similarly you can have uh, many more email addresses so we are going to count these and then finally we will remove these email addresses all right perfect so let's go ahead and take this one as our x data here and uh, this is our x data on which we are going to write here uh, a rejects all right so we are going to write a rejects here so we have to import here regular expression re all right import re then i'm going to say here re dot find all and then i'm going to write here the pattern regular expression pattern for our email all right so r and uh, this is going to be a raw string thereafter inside this raw string i'm going to put here this round bracket then i'm going to say that get anything a to z and then 0 to 9 thereafter dot underscore and hyphen all right then uh, thereafter a to z 0 to 9 dot underscore hyphen plus thereafter i'm going to put here another plus that's mean anything all right so it is going to continue till it found out that there is at the rate all right after this at the rate then again i'm going to uh, i'm going to copy this part and this is going to be a same thing here once again all right so this one is going to uh, this one is going to extract this one then at the rate and then hotmail thereafter i'm going to put here a plus that's mean after this okay so any word which comes there after that backward slash dot that's mean there is mandatory dot and thereafter once again i'm going to put here i'm going to put here uh, the this part once again all right perfect so after this mandatory and then i'm going to remove this uh, you know the dot thereafter all right perfect so with this it is going to be a plus and then finally i'm going to make here x on which we are going to calculate it so it says that we have got this email address from the twitter data all right perfect thereafter once you have this one if you want to end it with the some you know um, um uh, the terminal all right so you can make here a minus b so in this case it will detect that okay this is the end of the string all right perfect so this is the read dot find all and thereafter i'm going to apply here on the tweet data so df tweets dot apply 
and then I'm going to use here a lambda expression. So there we have got here x and then this is going to return this whole thing that are the email in the form of in the form of list. All right. Thereafter, I'm going to save it actually. I'm going to save it inside a new column that is the df emails. All right. Then we have got here emails that is the df emails and once you have the df emails then we can count here the emails all right so i have here emails underscore count is equal to df underscore emails dot apply thereafter i'm gonna use here the lambda function once again on the emails and then finally i can just return the length of this x so in this case we are going to get the emails emails count in emails count all right perfect now we are going to see those rows which have emails and that you can get with df and then i'm gonna say here email counts all right perfect so this is the email counts and uh, then we are going to say that where email counts are at least one then we are going to see some random five rows. all right let me see why this error is coming so it says that sample five let's so go ahead and remove that sample so it says that we have df emails count there we have this email all right and it is happening because we had put here this end of the line there so we need to remove that end of the line thereafter once we run it once again then we get here this email which we have got it all right so it seems there is only one email and i tried to remove that backward slash b to find out if there is more than one email all right so in this twitter data which have only the 4000 rows there is only one email which we have successfully extracted and uh, then we have also calculated this manual feature emails count all right perfect all right so we have counted the emails now we are going to remove these emails all right so we have here our uh, this one find all all right so i'm gonna just copy it and then i'm going to paste it here so this is the find all now i'm going to make here sub that's when the subtract and once you subtract then you have to also tell that i mean if you match anything like this one then what is the string which you want to replace it with so i'm going to replace it with nothing that's the empty string and if you run it you will see there a email is removed here all right so this is the same thing we are going to run here with the emails all right perfect so with the emails we are going to remove it in the tweet data so we have here a df and then tweets is equal to df then we have here a tweet data all right so there i'm having here apply and then the lambda of x thereafter i'm going to do here a same thing which we did earlier all right now once you run it you will not get any email addresses inside this tweet data all right you can copy it and then you can paste it here all right now you will not see any email address in this tweet data all right perfect so this is all about in this lesson thanks a lot for watching it i'll see you next lesson